we got goods. I'm going to a local shop in my town for fabrics. And now I have the blue fabric for the, like the overskirt and the green fabric for the little cape. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go home to take the other stuff that I have to sew and uh, fix and everything. And I'm gonna head to my grandma, my grandma's house to use her sewing machine. I'm so excited. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Okay, now we're gonna paint this. And it's already been almost ten minutes. Oh well. We got this. Oh my god. I am already heading home. Uh, I didn't finish the four parts from the, the blue skirt because I am very tired and hungry. Four parts, this is half done. Oh no, this is done. Okay, uh, we got like, some parts to make a difference here so that this would fall normally, this first part. And then this would come a little bit uh, straighter. Mm, straighter. <laughs> so that the split would be more noticeable. Because I am doing a very good job with the flowers in the underskirt and I want them to be seen. And then I have, oh, it's four of them. This one is unfinished because I got tired and I went like, fuck it, I'll finish it tomorrow. This one is not even touched yet. Um, there's another one that's finished too. I have to do the little waistband that I have to cut. There's a lot, a lot of fabric left but that is good because I am gonna use some of it to make a uh, little pouches so that I apart from it being pretty it can be uh, you know practical so that I can put my phone there or money or whatever you know essentials uh, and have it at hand uh, in not being like bad for the cosplay because I want it to be practical but I don't want to ruin it with a backpack as much as I love my backpack I have been doing the little clay that I didn't use for the horns um, for the accessories and then I'll paint them with the silver uh, paint alright so we're gonna paint the uh, horns. I've covered the silver part with some fellow um, tinta de siva, whatever. <laughs> and we're gonna paint. Let's see how this comes out. And oh, update when I painted the um, here the belt and I covered it with the. Um, like the paint with the barniz, uh, it turned like this part like a little white. Here you can see a little bit of it, I think. So I painted it with some oil paints and I'm just, it covered pretty well with the brown. So I'm just waiting for it to dry.
I'll paint the other part when this one uh, dries, obviously. This is how it's looking. This is exhausting. My butt hurts. Because I'm in a bad position because this damn table is not very dynamic. Aerodynamic? Body dynamic. I don't know. It's not good. But. Uh, whoa. I bought this this morning. As you can see, I fucked up. Uh, I thought I had gotten a lot more and that it would be long enough, but clearly it wasn't. So I, uh, I tried to, well, I did start to sew it to the gate, like the lower part. And I thought I had enough, I had like, I have a meter and a half of this. I thought it would be enough. I should have measured better. Um, and it wasn't. So I got it off. I did again the little... And now I'm just doing this. Just like a nice, simple... Uh, and now I'm going to try to do the little hood, which I have the parts here. And this fabric is great, it's a great color, it's a great texture, but it, it spells, I don't know, little green hairs everywhere, and it's driving me nuts. I don't know if I recorded this already, <laughs> showing you the blouse, but, uh, if not, well, I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna put on what I have of the outfit, which is the white flowery, still unfinished, uh, skirt, the blue skirt and the blouse, which doesn't have any flowers in it, but the, the form itself is finally finished. Oh, I am so tired. My back is creaming. I think this, this is the price, apart from the monetary one, that I have to pay to have a pretty cosplay <laughs> of Jester the Borer. I don't know how to pronounce it. Of Jester. Jester. Before I show you anything, I added these to the blouse so that it wouldn't go up. I'll demonstrate now. So this is the blouse and this part is obviously not gonna be visible because I'm gonna have the corset and everything on so it, we're just gonna see this like this part I'm gonna do so that I have boobs yeah <laughs> I love that it turned out really really pretty now for this it is unfinished because it doesn't have the flowers and it's unironed because I washed it to wash off the little pen marks and everything from uh, you know sewing it I adjusted a little bit the I sewed this the little waistband and I sewed in the zipper zipper? That I have to still kind of attach in the inside, but oh well, at least it's in. <laughs> this is so much like Jester. I I did iron the blue skirt to thinning up the edges, and it looks very good, and I love it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> These, which does don't even look that bad, but this is it. I love it so much. Still need to finish that, but this looks very good, and I love it. Ah. I'm Jester. It's a bit more opened. 
than I hoped. Here, like, here. So flowy. <laughs> it is by absolutely no means perfect. And it has so many mistakes and flaws. But I am very happy because I am doing it myself. And now I can look back at the cosplay and at this video. And if in the future I make another cosplay or this same cosplay of Jester, uh, I can look back and see where I improved. So happy. Okay, so we're doing other things. Alright, uh, some of you may already have been thinking this bitch is gonna have a monumental a monumental headache at the end of the day with those horns of like ceramic and you know my more experienced cosplayer friend concurred with that sentiment and in the back of my mind I was thinking the same too uh, but I was too proud and I wanted to do it myself and I didn't want to ask for help and I just did it like that because I thought it would be cool but then one of them fell and kind of it has a crack now and they're too damn heavy and I didn't know how I was gonna attach them so we've done new ones these are Gomaeva, I don't know in English, Gomaeva ones, uh, with a quite powerful um, magnet, because I bought one uh, and I uh, um, glued it on and everything, but it just wasn't powerful enough, so it sticked, but the moment I moved my head it just went flowing, and then I bought these. And they almost got stuck, like the part that is inside here and this one, I, I couldn't se separate them, it took me a bit. Uh, so they're strong, uh, now I have to stick this to the inside of the wig, which as you know, guys know, is already uh, styled. And uh, now I'm painting the... Uh, silver parts. It's bigger and wider than I anticipated, The at least the silver part. It looks quite good for what it is and uh, this is the first layer so don't worry I'm gonna put more. <sighs> but yes, this is what we have. I have to finish the uh, this morning. arrived uh, a, a pair of blue leggings that I bought uh, that I cut like the crotch off of like a blue bodysuit so that I wouldn't freeze myself to death I had decided not to do the tiefling uh, tail but now I'm doing it I'll show you guys later oh I wasn't going to do like the uh, the, the little uh, trinket that she has dangling from her belt but I have done it now I changed my mind again this is he, he's very cute I love it so much this is it, it's not great but this is how it went I have a wire to keep this, you know, stiff and in the form that I want and then, you know, it's yeah, it's simple. I just have to finish that. These are the leggings that I ended up buying to make the top, like the sort of the bodysuit, because uh, the uh, transparent kind, the more finer ones, uh, didn't suit me. I have a very wide uh, torso, so it's just didn't work so I used them for this and it's it looks good so I'm happy this is the horn one of them at least I didn't realize that it was the top part so 
uh, this is the position and uh, yeah this is one of them um, I've had to use two magnets so that uh, it stays put and doesn't you know turn uh, when it's uh, glued to my head so this is what we're working with and then for the other one again uh, two magnets and then I've attached this which will go attached to my uh, earrings which are you know are silver so Uh, I, by the way, I just finished the leg warmers. Like, I was blue, I finished it, and now I'm more blue. Like, an hour. Cuanto, hace cuanto nos vamos? En una hora así. Oh. An hour before leaving. This is the panorama. Alright. Um, <clears throat> I've already done my makeup, uh, except for the blue uh, eyeliner and the lashes, of course, because I forgot them uh, at my friend's house. So I'm gonna put them on already right there. I'm not gonna put everything on uh, because I'm going to go on public transport and it's a bit of a long way, so um, I just get a locker there and put my coat and the bag with all my things there. I'm not gonna put the tail on because it's blue and I wanna be a little bit more thematic. Like, I'm not gonna be blue, so I'm not gonna put the blue tail on. Plus it was, it's not uh, refined yet how I put it on. I need to, I, I, it just freaks me out because it's not, the most secure. I feel better now, and this is not going to be seen because of the corset and everything. I don't have my hair much hurt right now, so it is easy. I've been going with the transparent, the, with the tights, that's the word, with the tights and two pairs of socks, uh, not just because of the cold, but because um, it makes my feet hard, but not hard from the shoe, just from, you know, walking. This is the traveler symbol that broke. A few moments later. Okay, we're ready. The adventure begins. They were